Greetings, Shiners. Welcome to another episode of Shiners at One Success Mindset. Here on YouTube, I'm Dr. Shine, and I'm grateful that you're here. Listen, I'm going to jump right into it. Let me tell you how these monitoring spirits are doing the do today, chosen ones. So basically what is taking place is you have people, and I've experienced this, and I I know I'm not the only one, so I don't have to worry about me sounding uh, schizophrenic or paranoid or um, delusional or grandeur or all that. Okay. So what takes place is we have this thing in the spirit realm on the good side of the chosen one, the chosen one that makes the right decisions. Let me tell you, shiners. Mm. We have a GPS tracker that tells us every single thing. If we are in tune with the most high about who we are and these spirits of treachery, chaos, they literally track our spiritual vibration. The higher we are, the more eccentric we are, the more unique we are, the more blessed we are. We are tracked. And these people, they have employment with the devil. The devil is their CEO. Okay. And when the devil pays them their wages, they're, they're, they're trained and certified to go out and administer negative vibration so that the chosen one feels the wrath of not being on that other side. So take, for instance, let me tell you about an experience. And y'all, I, I was about to say, I can't tell them this because if I tell them this, they're going to uh, think I'm delusional and stuff. But I'm telling you, those who know, they understand already. For those who think I'm delusional, y'all the 85% that ain't even caring, y'all the ones that's being used by the devil and don't even know it. So it don't matter what you think of me. But anyway, I was supposed to give two properties away, scot-free to the devil. Okay, so this was the plan. The plan was to initiate opportunity. So one person was going to move into one house. One person was going to move into another house. They were playing chess on the devil's turf. So renter number one is going to decide that they're going to find fault in everything that is in the house. Now, mind you, house is totally updated. Mm -hmm. Enemy number one is going to find Five things wrong with the house that's totally updated, totally renovated. And then enemy number two is going to come in humble, educated. They're going to come in, you know, paying up front. They're going to come in paying, you know, rent and not even moving into properties. Okay. And then enemy number one decides that. They're going to bully their way in. They're just going to take it. <laughs> They're just going to take what's not theirs. Because when you feel entitled, you feel that that's how the, that's the only way you can get anything you want. So they were on a, on a, a lottery. What is that thing? Section eight. These are the new section eight no gooders that are trying to come in and sabotage people who have tried very, very diligently to work hard at what they, uh, that, that, that what they put their blood, sweat and tears in because we're supposed to do this. Cause this is the American dream, right? But shiners, guess what these enemy number one and two, just like in Robert Sylvester Kelly's case, all the victims on lifetime got what they wanted. Cause they played this game and this is where they probably got the initial, you know, contact of how we going, this is how we going to go do this. Okay. So what they did was they decided, let me move this so y'all will, yeah, so we can make sure we keep this on because I'm going to get this message out. 
They just, enemy number one decides, let me give five, a list of five things that ain't even supposed, that ain't even wrong, really. Maybe one or two, but I'm gonna get five things and I'm gonna see what they gonna do. Now, normally people who are used to landlords here where we live, they don't do what they're supposed to do. They don't upgrade their properties. They just take the rent and people just live like, you know, all kind of whatever. Okay. But these are small, little, small things that were supposed to be done. Enemy number one comes in and makes this list and say, yada, yada, yada. So we go fix the five things on the list. Then here comes 10 more things. So we go and we work to fix those little small mundane things, not knowing that this is a sabotage to put our money in escrow to prevent us from moving forward because the devil didn't already hired them. So the devil didn't already told them, look, y'all can keep this money if y'all want in y'all pocket, or you can pay it to them, but you're employed here to cause havoc hell, destruction, and chaos as best you can, not knowing that w- that God already didn't gave us the GPS tracking system in order to be able to pursue what they're trying to already put down. We already know. So then enemy number two comes in and there, <laughs> they pay on time, but they don't move into property. Red flag. That's a red flag in and of itself. Thank you, demons, for giving me your um, method of operation. It'll never, ever, ever happen again in our properties, okay? But anyway, devil number two decides not to even move in, okay? This is how the devil used this enemy. But here's the situation. We still okay. We still all right. Everything is still great. You know why? You know why? Because they weren't able to do and get what they wanted to get. And that was energy. Because let me tell you, what enemy number one and enemy number two, who came in opposite directions, didn't even know probably each other, but they know the energy. They know the vibe. They know how to play the Section 8 game. Because Section 8 has taught them that's the that's the devil's camp right there. We're going to give you something for free. You don't have to work for it. Other people will pay you to do this. Now this is this is how we're going to play the game. Okay? This is how we're going to play the game. And it's guaranteed money. Section 8 is guaranteed money. Okay? These enemies encamped and had meetings on opposite ends of town got together came in and decided to sabotage and destroy people who are trying to do good for a community because they're not trying to see that community grow, right? (laughs) So now here comes the, I guess, um, judgment day. (laughs) See, the devil got to have a judgment day because they got to get in and they got to do they do. They got to whoop the woo and then they got to do their magic and then they got to do their ritual. And then the next thing you know, they out. But what they don't understand is what comes with that energy. It's just like tar. It's stuck to you now. And now you're going to have to pay the piper. Does that sound familiar, y'all? You're going to have to pay the piper. Because let me tell you what you did. You've now ingested all of your family, your friends, your loved ones, the people you care about, the people, the the job that you're on, you're going to be working harder now because you got to pay that energy back because it failed. That's why I didn't get no love. Yeah, I ain't get no love because the enemy didn't get the devil's funds. (laughs) Big mad, big, big, big mad. Now, here's what was supposed to happen. Okay, Shiners? I was supposed to because of my history. See, that's why you got to know when a person has grown and when there's no um, alcohol, drugs involved, no rituals of sexual magic involved, when there's nothing, we've grown to the tremendous expectation 
of who we are today. And we see and we're aware and we know. Okay. What was supposed to take place was I was supposed to. This woman criminally threatened me. I was supposed to do what I used to do back in the day. And that was get out and beat that motherfucking ass. I was supposed to work her ass out. And guess what? She probably would have got a couple blows in, but here's, and I'm not promoting. Don't get me wrong, Shiners. I am no way in any instance promoting what I could have done because I didn't. So it don't matter. It's all an illusion, right? But if, but what I was supposed to do was get out and whoop her ass to the pulp and bust her head on that fucking cement in front of that house, and I was supposed to kick and knock and beat every demon out of that fucking body because the demon was going to flee when I pulled outside of my vehicle. But what happened was something different. What happened was I stayed in my emotional control. But but if I had to do that, they probably wouldn't have done nothing or they probably would have did something. I don't know. I don't care because it didn't go down that way. But what was supposed to happen was I was supposed to test that demon energy, whoop on that ass, probably get shot. Okay. Because now you got a no trespassing sign. Let me tell you how the devil used this person. But what they didn't understand was what they did was criminal. (laughs) I just laughed at it. Because, see, the power that is invested in me is the power that I give the energy. That's the power I give it. But if I don't give it no energy, it is dead. Just as if I had got out the car and the spirit, like, as if I got out the car and whooped that ass. But I ain't touch nobody. So because I didn't touch nobody, I took the next steps to go and handle my business. But the devil, see, already know that this is his employee. So even when I went to report, it didn't get where it needed to go. But it's all good. It's all a dun 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 dun. It's all good dun 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 dun. dun. It's all good, baby. Cause guess what? I was supposed to give two houses away for free because of my aggression. That the devil knows. See, these GPS tracking system demons got this monitor on our spirit. And the old, it doesn't know what's inside and what is going to be done or how we're going to recognize it or how we're going to embrace it or how we're going to exceed it. It only knows what we have done. That's how we're able to caption snapshot I was listening to Keith Sweat, but I'm going to go back to what I'm saying, but I got to tell y'all this, Shiners. I was listening to Keith Sweat. You know, you know, you are my loving baby. You got me twisted over you. Look at that video. Go back to that video. Watch the video. Pay attention to what's going on in the video. The snapshots. The camera is here. Cameras here and the, the God, the, the most high, my most high discerned to me that that was supposed to be happening. It was supposed to be a criminal charge on my side, but it ended up being a criminal charge on their side because I did not activate it. I did not activate what the devil tried to steal from me, kill, steal, rob, destroy, period. But no weapon formed against the most Chosen will con will will no weapon formed will prosper. So guess what? Hold on. 
<clears throat> so guess what I did? I decided to take the, the strength and power and wisdom in my hand. And when I did it, oh, all enemies have to flee. It's just like that. Lights, camera, action. Here's the movie. Here's the background. Here's the, here's the green screen. Time for characters to show up. And when they show up, listen, I think every single time the spirit discerns to me something in my house that my grandson has to take back out of the house <laughs> to let me know that it's all good. It's a spiritual connection in a physical form. And it's amazing. And I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for that. So Shiners, back to the reality of the conversation of which I'm talking about. So I was supposed to fail at managing this set of properties. I'm not sure if the plan was to pay off the owners, the partners, the connections, or if they were just only to sabotage my name in this matter so that new people that I meet all over the world would come in to purchase property or do anything or be a part of this community or any other community I choose to, you know, post up in. I could post up in 88 counties if I wanted to and just in the state of Ohio alone and do what I do. It doesn't stop here. And this is, oh, and another ritual. Oh, I'll tell you about that one in a minute. So anyway, these, I don't know if the owner or partners, which I am a part of the partnership, I don't know if they were trying to sabotage my name to prevent people from believing in my brand. But what they didn't get is the loyalty that comes from the other side. These people already know me. They already know me before you knew me because guess what? Little things I do, the mundane things that I do when I'm not showing myself to the public, I'm very VIP. I'm very VIP and I'm very limited access. So no one's going to get in. No matter if you try to come in as a, I'm interested in you in a relationship, I'm already married. <laughs> Y'all didn't even know it. I'm already married, been married. But my partner does not live with me, does not live with me. So you can stop that one because it won't work. Now, back to, back to the matter at hand. So these, I don't know if they were going to try to buy out the individual because it did come to me and I did relate this to my partners. I said, listen, how about we sell the properties. What do you think about the selling of the pro Absolutely not. So see, the devil cannot be, cannot give the highest bid to the person who's willing to not walk away. Mm -hmm. So obviously, my partners are technically chosen ones as well, but the devil didn't know it. <laughs> the devil didn't know it, right? Now, let me tell you, y'all already know. The ones that already know, y'all already know what I'm talking about, okay? And believe me, you, you're under surveillance. Every move you make, even the people you associate with, Every step you take, every move you make, every vow you break, every something you take will be watching you. Hey, hey, thinking of the day my son went away, I miss you. That's coming back to everything. And the biblical text tells us that when it comes down to the story of Job, everything returned. But it doesn't tell you how, because shiners, the evidence is in the way we handle the protocol. 
based upon what we have been taught, based upon our limited experience of righteousness within this realm, and then based upon the way that the, the forces hide information at a very young age and then plays the game with the victim. Mm, but we're not victims. We're survivors. We're thrivers. We're succeeders. Anyway, back to enemy number one and enemy number two. Thank you so much for revealing what the devil has done. So we now can give it to the shiners in all areas. And this is also on a private podcast. I'm letting you guys know this is on a private podcast. We have 179 people in the room. And these chat responses are privatized. This is how you can't get to my intricate individuals. And even if you did, even if you tried, you wouldn't even see what we see. You wouldn't even see. You got to forgive them. Let's see. I'll call them later. But anyway, when we recognize what is being done, Shiners, let me tell y'all, it is a powerful tool and we are so protected. (laughs) Listen, anytime I hear a, a siren, I recognize that we are protected. So it don't initiate drama, trauma, stress, chaos. It initiates protection. God's respected are always protected, period. Now, let me tell you. So the devil came in to devour, steal, destroy, and cultivate within a group of chosen people of fear, right? Only to walk in an undercover criminal to walk out a criminal on the books, documented in the city. And they thought that they were withholding our money. Shiners, look at God, nothing but. And I'm not here to brag in my enemy's face, even though that's what they do. I'm here to just show you that your plan didn't work. It failed epically. So now you got people wondering, are you really capable of being and doing and having? So that energy is dead now. The body that was used to create the chaos and the confusion don't even matter. Enemy number one and enemy number two could be a Kim, a Leon, a a Darcy, a Debbie, a a Darla, a Carla, a, 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 a William. It could be any human being, but the monitoring spirits remove themselves when the job has or has not been performed. I'm telling y'all, y'all better pay attention. These are the new, but, but the spirit, the chosen one has a, a monitoring GPS tracking system that shows us who's tracking us based on the way that they come to us. So if you come to us, If you come too nice, we paying attention, red flag. (laughs) If you come in a way of, of trying to destroy and destruct, we already on level six. It ain't going to (laughs) work. It ain't going to work because other people watching what you're doing anyway. Other people watching. So you better have enough people to watch 10 areas surrounding the same position, surveillance companies who's monitoring the same systems, and then people riding by who could be ready for war with cell phones all day. You got to have all that tracked. (laughs) Y'all go go paranoid. (laughs) 
Y'all going paranoid. Shiners, let me tell you. God is so good. God has discerned to me that the ploy, the plot, the trap that was set was to pull me into a chaotic moment to prevent me from being a success, to make me look stupid, ignorant, uneducated with all the education I have, mentally ill, just like they do in Robert, incarcerate me, if not kill me, this is what was supposed to happen, but I'm still here because they don't get down like that. That energy is only there for a moment. That's it. A moment. It's a fleeting idea. Mark, you should have recognized that. But when you have alcohol, drugs, emotion, demonic uh, elevations, in the mindset that prevents you from being in a real moment, the present moment, you'll never remember. You'll never connect it. The intuition and the discernment will not be there. So yeah, they were that they were supposed to do that and then get in touch with property owners and make their make their negotiations. Take over. Just take over. Mm -hmm. Thinking they know what I do. But they're going to put their resume together. And not only are they going to get the money that the devil was going to pay them to start out with for the, for the job. They're going to also gain reciprocity behind my ignorance. Shiners, that's why we got to be ready. And we also have to be very in tuned with our emotion. See, this is the way the devil was planning on destroying me. The very thing that I had the weakest energy in, that was the, that was the, I don't know if I want to use kryptonite. I can't remember what kryptonite is. I don't know if that's the weakness that makes the person be able to get uh, defeat it from, or if it's the kryptonite, the power that comes after they realize that they've recognized that they've been played. I, and then like the Incredible Hulk or something, or I don't know, Batman or whoever had the kryptonite. Okay. But that word is coming to, to mind here. And so the point of the matter, Shiners, is this. <laughs> I'm all over the place, but it's all right. It's for my historical purposes. Because when I'm sitting back, in my old days, and I'm listening to these podcasts, I'm going to sit back and be like, damn, I remember that happened. <laughs> I remember. So, so, so the point, the point I'm making, Shiners, is that we have to be so in tune with our emotion that nothing, nothing, no one, no one boy could compare to what we have. Love, it feels so real, and I'm so glad you're mine. Oh, oh, baby, make it last forever, ever. <laughs> anyway, back to the matter at hand, y'all. Listen, signers. <coughs> I got something to celebrate today. I got something to celebrate today that is so powerful because I'm free. I am free. Thank the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. See, the devil don't want me to get it out. No more chains holding me. My soul is rested. Did y'all sleep good last night? <laughs> Shiners. Because I guarantee you, those employed by the devil, they are getting ready to get put on. They about to get put on unemployment. 
because they've been found out. Death all around, rituals being performed, clipping wings from birds, stopping wings, stopping people from flying, preventing success from occurring. It's a new day. It's a new time. The chosen ones have taken over. This is how Job got everything back from the very devil that took it from him. But again, shout out to all my loyal partners who know me, who are a part of what we do, who handle things that we need to handle in a professional way, successful way. And yes, I may, hey, I'm from the hood. I got a little trauma in me. There's going to be times where I say things in a different way than what you rem- what you can <clears throat> comprehend and understand, but I'll give you the definition. Y'all, I'm telling you, <laughs> the throat chakra is acting a fool, but I'm still here. I'm still empowered. I was going to get on and go do my hair and make my face up and put on some clothes, but I say I'll do that later. Um, and But this podcast, I needed to push it. When God say move, you got to move immediately because the message is in that movement. The message is in that moment. And it will never come out the way that it would if you had waited. If I had waited to get on the camera or whatever, then this message would not have come out to where we understand that these tracking, monitoring demons, demon number one, in my case, demon number two, thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you for respecting me when you showed me who you were and I recognized who you were and you had to walk away defeated because you came incorrectly. <clears throat> but we are to be happy. We are to be courageous. We are to have no fear. We are to be empowering. We are to walk away from even our children if we are unequally yoked and care nothing about it. Why? Because the physical is the memory of the uh, memorex. It is the design that the devil uses, just like the bag known as Prada, known as Dolce and Gabbana, known as uh, my favorite one that I use, Coach, that I used to love. These are the bodies in which the energy possesses in order to get its mission accomplished. So our children may look like our children. This is the reason why they change physical appearance from child, from birth to toddler. Well, from birth to infant to toddler to adolescent to teen, I think, to young adult, to adult. You look at your kids and you listen to the tone of voice. Those are the premature victims that come into the world. And they're victims from birth. And if we don't put the armor of protection around our children at the inception, So that means you got to be good with the father and the mother. So then that means that you can't be having a booty call and then you just get pregnant. Mm -mm. I remember a time when my kid's father told me to go ahead and abort. Here's 5G. But mentally, I felt like I was on 5G back then in 1980, in 1989. That 5G was to prepare me for today. Because without the knowledge of what has happened and transpired in my life, I never would believe, I never would know, I would never be able to discern. So again, even in that situation, even in our worst moment, we thank our enemies for showing us. These are our oppositions. And it just came in a form of the human body existence that we recognize as father, as daughter, as son, as grandson, granddaughter, whoever, as husband. And if you don't have the yoking that's equal to that, 
Guess what? Shiners, it's going to all fall apart and you're going to see the story behind everyone. The discernment is going to awaken you and put you in an awareness state. That's why they legalize marijuana. So everybody around you looks crazy. But the reality of it is deep down in the spiritual realm of existence, that person is only being used anyway. It's the energy inside of the vehicle. It's the, it's the Maserati engine that, that makes the Maserati what it is. You feel me? You film, <laughs> you filming me? <laughs> so listen, y'all, listen, I'm corny. You got to get at me, Kimmy. I, I am. <laughs> mm. It's a blessed day. It's an empowering day. And I'm telling everybody in this room, shiners, you are valued. Don't let the devil steal it. You're right at, this is the, this is dedication season. This is deliverance season. This is empowering season. And a lot of people will sit back and do readings and they will put out there what you, what's happening to you. I need you. You. (laughs) They going to tell you, The future of you. Taking the spotlight off of them and putting it on to you. And they're going to give you the signs. They're going to give you the symbols. Some of them are going to give you way too much information because it's just everything. It's just anything and everything that could take place. I've been a spiritual reader since I can remember before the tarot came out in my life in 2000s, early. But the point I'm making is that we are victorious even in the, even in the storm of our enemies encamping all around us trying to promote something that is false. And this is how Robert Sylvester Kelly came. And we're going to talk about that Sunday, six o'clock, the false matrix and the way we are ascending as spiritual masters in the game. That's why so many people take out good people. But these people that are being taken out, they had a weakness and they need to come back quick. And they need to get it right. There have been many a days, many a times. God has protected his respected and moved them out of the way when the expectation was to have you in a position, in a scheduled place for you to be. So that this could take place. You will meet who you meet. That's going to do what they do to, to, to show you this. But when you've already learned the lesson, God just picks you up and moves you over here. Let's go to, uh, let's go to Cleveland today. Let's go and introduce ourselves to a group of people we've never met before. And you don't even have to be in a vehicle that's being GPS tracked. Someone else can come and pick you up. Then what do you do? (laughs) You can walk down the street. You can walk to your neighbor's house. And someone can come and pick you up. You can be anywhere in the world you choose to be. And you happen to be here with me today. And I'm so grateful because I have to get this off my chest. Now, back to the the money rituals. People will try to hold up your money, but lo and behold, you get downloads to go other people that owe you. <laughs> Literally, listen, they will lose purses. They losing stuff, y'all. They don't know where it's at. Credit cards ain't working. They losing it. I've been there. I was so stuck 
playing with them energies of schedule, defeat, playing with the, the, the energy of work and employment. That's why we ain't supposed to have a group of people. Or I, I was listening to a documentary the other day. And it was talking about people being involved around other people's energies and grocery stores and different things like that. That's why the pandemic took place to prepare us to be individualized, to prepare us to be prepared for the new way of looking at things because people were becoming too much. And that energy was already aggressive, already crazy, already chaotic. Imagine if the pandemic didn't happen. A flushing out of energy that no longer serves our society is what's taking place. So those who are ritualizing money, let me tell you what's going to happen. Now, mark my words, put this on the timestamp of this video here. Shiners, what's going to happen to those people who, you, you know, they owe you money. Money is energy. You put energy into something. If a person says, I promise I'll pay you back and you give them your last, do not put energy into that last giving because what's happening is if they don't pay you back, what takes place is they control the dynamic of what happens to you from that point when it comes to your finances. Okay, either you're going to be stuck in a ritual where you're constantly giving, 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 just like on... Uh, Jungle fever. Let me do this dance for you, mama. I need 10 bucks. I need $10. I need $10, right? Instead of getting off your ass, stop smelling yourself, go take a shower and go get a fucking job. But what takes place is now we see what we did with the energy. And sometimes it makes you very mad when you sit back and you recognize that you did that. But you got to embrace it and you got to exceed it. And make sure you learn the lesson so you don't got to keep doing it. Now, they will do that ritual or the ritual will be return to sender. They may fake it. They may play the role. They may say whatever, but whatever you say, whatever you speak out of your mouth is an existence point of view that will eventually take place in your life somewhere, somehow. Unless, of course, you're putting it back on the individual who you believe you have control over. Now here comes those who are in addiction. Those who are in addiction are going to want to put themselves on the screen. They're going to want to record because they're used to getting what they want. They're used to being the manipulator. But when you realize, listen, there was a, there was a, a person that was so close to me that got me the beating of my life. Shout out to RC. You may not know this, but the reason why God is doing what is being done in your life at this moment right now is because I went to a football game to watch my cousin Tony play Vanderbilt um, in Tennessee. This was in the early 80s. I say 1982, 81, somewhere around there. So we all got a hotel room. Everybody was happy. Everybody was together. And I remember that moment being so precise to me because I, 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 I finally found, I was the only girl out of 17 boys. I finally found a feminine energy. And this feminine energy, I thought was so beautiful, tall, slender, perfect face. You know, we, 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 we do, we have good features in our family. I have to say, however, as I'm talking and you know, I'm a talker, so I'm, I'm talking, I'm sharing my beliefs. I'm sharing the love, but I don't know this person. I'm a product of an extramarital affair. They're a product of an extramarital affair. I guess like my grandson said when I told him the story about his, 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 
history because we have to tell the story because without telling the story, people will then believe what they want to believe about who they really are. So when it comes down to it and they're acting this way, the next thing you know, they're not trying to deal with the repercussions and consequences to their behavior. Anyway, God bless my ancestors, those who were on the dark side as well as the light side. And I had some beastly dark-sided ancestors that I knew in my personal <laughs> life growing up. So I got the beating of my life around this time. I went to school and out of nowhere, a lie emerges. Something as small as being called a name. Someone reports to the person that I consider father in my life at this time. The father was, you know, um, yeah, who I consider father at this time in my life. And I was told, came home out of nowhere. This is how early the forces were playing with my energy as well as other people around me. There was someone or something that happened and this person wanted something or someone, but that someone or something was attached to me and they couldn't get to that someone or that something. So they came and they brought a lie upon my name, which caused me to have to deal with an unnecessary consequence. So they lied specifically and said that a gentleman, a young man who was part of the, we, we were in the cafeteria. Now, mind you, we're not even in the same grade level. So you're not going to be around to hear anything that happens if you're in the 12th grade and I'm in the ninth grade. Well, anyway, or the seventh grade or the eighth grade, however it goes. So lo and behold, it comes back to the guy that I will consider as father that this young man called me a bitch. Who you calling a bitch? You and I T Y. You and I T Y. I see unity. You and I T Y. Come on, Queen. You and I. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> Nobody did that. Oh, now you're lying. Oh, I'm not lying. You're just not hearing me. You're not hearing what I'm saying, the words that are coming out of my mouth. So for some apparent reason, this individual was to be the ultimate truth. This is why I learned sometimes in this society, you got to be mindful. Don't let it make you crazy, shiners. You got to be mindful that some people, okay, how, how did I tell my grandson this yesterday? In this world, those who are doing right, those who are doing right may be looked at as doing wrong. And those that are doing wrong may be looked at as doing right, right? It's, it's weird. It's wicked. So I had to get a whooping. And I mean, this, this was the whooping of my life. This was a whooping that I had never and can never compare a whooping to at a very young age from a man. I mean, a football player type man, shiners. And it was all because of a lie. But let me tell you how God does 30, 40, 50 years later. Shout out to the energy that came and exposed the truth. Addiction has been following the shadow of this individual like tar under her feet. Yes, I had a bout with addiction. I learned my lesson. It wasn't something, it was something I did not know about me, shiners emotionally, 
So yeah, when I fell apart, I thought it was okay to fall apart. I would come back. Everything would be okay. And it was. But it damn near, one night, damn near, one connection with my neighbor damn near took out to this day portions of my life that I could never get returned. So I didn't play with addiction. I'm not built like that. Instead of being addicted, I'd rather be recovered or recovering or recover whatever. Just long as I'm on that side, no matter what's legal, no matter what's not legal, I ain't touching it. Mm -mm. It's already enough damage being done on the lies and the, and, and the fleet of enemies, 85% who are blind, deaf, and dumb are employed in some way, some shape, some form, some fashion by the enemy until they realize who they are. And this is not your fault because you were born into victimization. But when you know better, you do better. But until you do that, shiners, we got to stay aware, alert, um, and, and protected under all measures. And it's a mental protection that starts first because with the mental protection, everything and anything will at that point be able to be administered. But if your mental health is gone, if you have been playing with the dark forces for so long until your mind is reprobated, you don't know what's right. You don't know what's wrong. None of this right here is even making sense to you in any way, shape or form. Not one thing I've said, everything I've said, you sitting back, getting high, listening to possibly saying to judge me and it's not making any sense. If you've made it this far, the seed has already been planted. You already know. You just don't know you yet. So I say to, to everyone, shiners, those listening in the bushes, those hating, those who refuse to do what they're supposed to do. Oh, back to this money ritual. I got to tell you this real quick. But for those that are listening to me now, hear this. All of this will make sense to you, whether this lifetime or another lifetime. But when we as shiners learn and know the truth, we don't have to go through the lessons. That's when this is our deserving season. Our deserving season will come into play. And guess what, shiners? Deserving season works both ways. If you deserve hell, you're going to get hell. If you deserve chaos, you're going to get chaos. If you deserve love, you're going to get love. If you deserve peace, you're going to get peace. If you deserve, deserve righteousness, you're going to get righteousness. If you deserve success, you're going to be all that. Even when people trying to hold your money up, playing rituals with your money, you don't need that. It's energy. It's the energy that you want more than the money because if they ain't got nothing to steal from you, if they ain't got nothing to rob you for in the physical, <laughs> they can't take what's in the spiritual. They just can't get it. They can't get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. Never get it. So just know that, Shiners. These are things that's coming to me. That's, and you know what? I hear black butterfly sail across the waters. Tell your sons and daughters what the trouble brings. I think that's what it says, but that's what I'm going to put in there. Yeah. So we got to know y'all. We got to know, and we got to know when the enemy is using our loved ones, using our people that is closest around us and you got to remind them, you got to let them know, got to let them know. Mm -hmm. You're going to constantly hear me shiners talk about Job and the expectation because all we hear in the biblical text is how the devil did it. 
That's how we're able, that's what we're supposed to only hear. You're only supposed to hear the bare basics until you're able to compare and contrast the experience to your own life, to what he went through, to connect the dots. So yeah, I don't have no problem walking away from my children because it is the energy within that vehicle that makes us together or not. And if an energy has come to this planet on the face of the planet, connected to what we recognize as our children, it is going to make it very difficult when our children hurt us on purpose. No, first of all, they're going to hurt us to see how we're going to respond to it. And if you beat the hell out of them back in the day, you could, you know, sometimes is that good? I don't know, but I know it works for me. So when I got my ass beat for something that I know that I was doing, that energy was long gone. At that point, the band, it, that, that, uh, a negative vibe that had my ego tripping, that had my spiritual entity taken over because of the weakness that I held within myself. And when it came down to the beating Guess who was feeling the pain? The physical body. The physical body. The slave that allowed the energy to interact with it. That's why I say when people play money rituals, they're the ones that's receiving the consequence. They don't know it. You are to owe no man. Right. And if you purposely doing it to withhold money and you're purposely doing it to stop progress. You are hurting and harming yourself. And when you hurt, hurt and harm yourself. That's when you get unemployed from the devil. The devil don't even want you employed because you can't fulfill the mission. So now you just out here looking stupid. Don't know how it happened. Don't even remember half the stuff that happened. But shiners, stay committed, stay connected, and know the devil is trying to destroy every positive thought in your mind that you can persevere from because they're comfortable in what they're stuck in. I'm just letting you know. I'm letting myself know. (laughs) I'm reminding you remind me of some love that I once knew. Is it a dream or is it deja vu? So I had to sing it. Ah, you remind me. So when I looked at you on that screen, I saw a fake wannabe mommy dearest. It didn't affect me. It didn't even stop my day before it would have been. I got to help. I got to help. I got to No, I helped myself today. And I returned that back to sender a thousand fold. May you get exactly what you deserve. Cause this is deserving season, honey. And you don't know who you mess with that has the power within them to return to sender a thousand fold. What you try to bring to ritualize me, you turn around and wish my death 10 people in your family pass away and you like, damn, what happened? You don't even know until it hits you. And it ain't have nothing to do with nobody doing anything. Heart attacks, diabetes, syphilis, gonorrhea, HIV, drugs. Mm Mm-hmm. And I don't wish that upon nobody, but I'm not stopping justice because then nobody stopped justice on me. When the devil was putting you in full salary, taking care of all your bills, taking care of your nice vehicles, putting you in positions of higher enchilance, whatever it is you desired, nobody gave a damn about me. I was just a guinea pig and I didn't pay a lot of people's salaries and didn't even know it. 
I didn't even know I was employed. I didn't even know I was the independent contractor manifesting all this good ass life for these demonic forces that have been around me all my life to destroy where I am today. And I ain't even nowhere near where I should be. But without them, without them, and this is why I have to exceed it, because I already recognize it. I didn't get mad at it. I didn't recognize that I've been played, bamboozled, swindled. <laughs> now I have to embrace that in order to let it go so I can get my what I deserve. Because if I think that I want to punish your life by giving you hell, it's coming back to me too. I live in my dharma, not my karma. So we need to recognize that, Shiners. And um, I think I've been on here way. Oh, Lord. Y'all, I got to get off of here. <laughs> it's just that time, Shiners. It's that time. It's this reaping. It's the reaping season. And thrillers, every thriller has an introduction, a body, and a conclusion. And some thrillers we see at the end when the perpetrator is at its last breath. It's fighting, it's fighting, it's fighting, it's fighting. And then it just runs, you know, let's go. But in that letting go, you know what happens? The lesson comes back and based upon the fight, it is determined how strong that energy will be when it comes back. So even if that energy fought and fought and fought for the good fight, for the good rights, for the for the peace, for the tranquility of society, for the em embracing of society while they live in it. Because this is supposed to be our realm of physical dimension to show us heaven on earth. But the illusion, again, when people think what they're doing, when people think that they have made it, off of the negative in life here is looked at as positive. But when you do something positive to make your life here on earth easier is looked at as ne negative because you have so many people. It's the societal statistic that has people looking at how things happen, why things happen. Will they embrace each other to fulfill whatever mission it is that they're trying to do. Go ahead and get your computer. Um, and with that being said, shut, please shut my door. Thank you. With that being said, that means that we have to make the decision what is most valuable for us. Do we want to come back uh, and learn another lesson, but we gave up the fight? So now we coming back with even stronger demon lessons to learn. Because really and genuinely, the lessons that I've had to learn in my life has not been that devastatingly horrible. It really hasn't. Some people may try to say, oh, it was the worst thing ever. Oh, you want more of that? No, it's just that I've already gotten the just desserts and the consequences behind everything that I was supposed to learn anyway. So now it's nothing but peace until me and my creator and no one else can take that date and make that date any earlier than what we, we he and I have already discussed. So they can try all they want. And karma is going to return to them and dharma is going to be reciprocity to me. So for those of you holding money, and this is one of the reasons why I don't give money away or loan money to friends, family, people, because as long as you owe me, I'm never broke, number one. And number two, I'm not going to be back and forth with you. 
I'm not going to be continually every day or every two days paying you the same thing that I started off with paying you because I don't believe in that. I believe a man or a woman or a child or anyone who has the ability to have a strong mind and a strong back, they should work from the sweat of their own fucking brow. Other than that, you don't need what you get. You don't need what you get. Even in the welfare system, you got to work. Not just be given something for free, but that's another story. That's another discernment topic. So yeah, if I was to label this video today, it would be I'm pissed, but I get it. I'm pissed, but I get it. So thank you so much for being consistent. Thank you so much for being here, listening, you know, commenting, all the comments. Thank you. Thank you so much. You know, I can't really focus on those. I got to get one of those. Uh, I got to get one of those uh, teleprompters to, you know, help me out there. Um, and then practice, because when you have been near a computer for so long, I know y'all ready to go, but y'all can go ahead, but this is just something off, off topic. But if we have been in front of a computer for so long, it, there's a 20, 20, 20 rule It's supposed to be 20, 20, the eyesight is visually impairing itself. Every time we look at the screen of a computer, because it's man-made, this is something again, that is supposed to do something. And if you do too much of it, then what takes place is that something never gets done. So uh, the 20-20-20 rule is 20 minutes on a computer, and then you look at something 20 minutes, 20, 20 seconds away from you, and then you can see exactly a little bit more balanced. It's like resetting the cornea. But yeah, I looked at that um, article and I found that to be very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Shout out to everyone, all people who watch this podcast. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Listen, these monitoring spirits, ah, I'm pissed, but I get it. <laughs> and with that, thank you for being consistent. Thank you for rocking in the shoes you're walking in because you're wearing the damn thing. Go ahead. Do your thing. Do your thing, Fizzle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll see you next time.